Now Mzansi, Katlako Maboe, beloved multilingual TV personality and a vocalist, famously known for the Change a Die Dang insurance advert, which he has since been stripped off. Two years ago, he was embroiled in a cheating scandal, which resulted in his then-girlfriend and baby mama, Monique Muller, allegedly tarnishing his image by claiming that he gave her an STD and made her lose the ability to have more children, allegedly, and also that he physically abused her. Well, for his fans, it's a joyous celebration as he wins the cases against Monique Miller because of the following. Hey, hey, Mzansi. Hello and welcome to Entertainment News, Mzansi. Now, if you're new to my channel, you know you're here for the stories. Go ahead, click the subscribe button and the bell and you'll never miss an update. Now, Mzansi, a statement released by Lerato Maliswane, publicist for Katlako Maboe, dated 31st January 2022, reads as follows. Court rules in favor of Mr. Katlako Maboe. Two-year legal battle is finally over. On the 27th January 2022, TV personality Mr. Katlako Maboe was absolved by the magistrate court against allegations of alleged misconduct made by his former partner, Ms. Monique Muller, in October 2020. Now, the court agreed with the submission of a point in limina from Mr. Maboe's legal team, ruling that there were no grounds for obtaining the protection order. Furthermore, the court has not made a finding of acts of domestic violence that were allegedly perpetrated against Ms. Muller, and as such, the matter has been dismissed. Now, this is a great victory for Mr. Maboy, who has maintained his innocence throughout the two-year ordeal. The most important thing to me is the well-being of my son, and fortunately, things have settled into a routine for him after being put through such a terrible and lengthy process. I am so grateful to my friends and family and my incredible team for the ongoing support and to the justice system for ruling in favor of the truth. I may never know or understand the real motive behind all of this destruction and heartache, but right now, I just want to focus on putting the pieces of my life back together, he said. Namzansi, upon news of the allegations in 2020, Mr. Maboy suffered devastating reputational damage, resulting in a loss of professional livelihood. This included the cancellation of his contract with insurance and a suspension from his long-term contract with SABC's Espresso Morning Show. The loss of financial income has been has not been recovered since the start of the court battle. Mr. Maboy has a final harassment interdict ag granted against Ms. Monique Muller's brother, Seth Muller, who made a damaging and unfounded allegation in support of Ms. Muller's claims. He is also pursuing legal action against Women for Change founder Sabrina Walter and SA Film and Television Awards Sufters, chairperson of the judges, Dr. Jeanette van Eerden. In this regard, a criminal charge of criminal defamation is pending against Sabrina Walter in the Maisenberg Magistrate Court for posting defamatory and untrue statements against Mr. Maboy, which led to his removal at as a softer nominee in the category of Best TV Presenter. She is expected to appear in court soon. Now, Mzansi, you know, when women started speaking out and uh, exposing perpetrators, it was a good thing because it meant that they, the perpetrators, will be put to book. However, it has now been a trend for some women, not all of them, to have the type of mentality that says, you piss me off, I will scream rape because I can. Now, that Mzansi also causes for the real victims to, to not get believed, therefore real perpetrators getting away with it. Now, Mzansi, there you have it. Do leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I love to hear from you, but for now, you know, I will bring you the updates hard just the way you like it.